Hey coach, it's Coach Simpson. Appreciate you tuning into my YouTube channel. We'll do a little defensive talk today. So uh, the idea is the same. We're trying to make our practices more efficient. If this is your first time on my station, of course, I'll try to talk about offense, try to talk about defense, and then other coaching materials you may want. Uh, feel free to scroll around. Uh, I'm trying to grow this channel, so I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to it. And hopefully, I'll continue to, be able to put out good content throughout this season. I want to talk about one thing that we've been doing. So this week we've been talking on two different sides of the offensive side of the ball, uh, where we do pod work. So pod work for us, again, a real quick definition, is when we're putting guys together that might not necessarily go together. So on the offensive side of the ball, that's generally based off of concepts or skill sets. So for instance, we talk about buck sweep, talk about belly, how we're going to separate our guards out from our linemen, we're going to separate out... Uh, maybe our tight end H-backs from different guys, different skills they're going to work on. We try to do this across the board in as many different ways as we can to work on uh, groups that need to function as a unit in unique situations. So defensively, we have multiple ones of these we do. This one is relatively a generic one. There are a lot of other pods that we do. Um, I just want to kind of hit one to give the example. All right, so for example, uh, let's say we're playing a team that's real heavy in 20 personnel and trips that week, and we want to make sure we're getting work on run fits. Okay, so we don't normally bring our strong safety into inside drill. That's not normally something we do. But if we know that he's going to be heavily involved in the fit, you got to think about it as far as when we go pods, who's better to teach the skill, the DB coach or the inside linebacker coach? Well, the inside linebacker coach knows a whole lot more about how we want that fit to look probably than the DB coach does. So when we go to that pod, we might have already gone individual, we've worked all this different stuff, and then now we go pod work, and we've talked about it as a staff, we're gonna send our strong safeties to inside to go work with these guys. We may send our outside backers to the DB section over here, and then we're gonna send our corners who may be working a lot of man-to-man -man in their own grouping. Okay, again, this is a small example, but it gives you an idea of how we're gonna divide out skills. So over here, we may be working trip screens, trips passes, or roll coverage, or whatever. Over here, we're working one-on-one -on -one coverage. We may be running that a lot if we're gonna get this different look, and that's something we need to work on. And a kid that plays corner may have to rotate and move a little bit, okay? Our outside backers here are working on whatever we've decided we're going to use for our trips to just that week. Strong safety is now being coached by the linebacker coach. So those guys are now functioning as a unit. Our strong safety is going to be fitting off of however they, we've decided he's fitting. So let's say we get old school power look. We may be trying to play here, here, and he's playing over the top. Or we may be working on kind of a box concept where he's going to fit inside of him. Whatever has been decided on it, they need to work that as a unit. So this is the live active pod, and then this is kind of the secondary pod where the next thing that we want to work on is here. Okay, another example of a pod, sorry, let me get here, maybe sending our outside backers and safeties together. So let's say we have outside linebackers here, safeties are here. Maybe we have our D linemen and inside linebackers working something else. Our corners might be working man-to-man -man coverage, but we're working with these two guys on just a simple run fit, okay? Simple run, so the ball's coming this way, and we're gonna work on how we wanna fit them in a three, four. Are we gonna fit and spill and scrape, or are we gonna do it the opposite direction? Are we gonna fit out and fit underneath? Well, that skill needs to be worked together. These two guys probably don't practice together very much, but that skill needs to be worked together. So we think about it as we're organizing practice. If we're going to work this skill, okay, what do our corners need to be doing? Well, they, well let's work them in man-to-man, -man, or maybe they need to work on kind of ripping off a of block, or maybe they need to work on some kind of ball skill, or whatever it is. We're going to send all our corners to our DB coach. Okay, DB coach has the corners. They're working a skill. This might be our outside linebacker coach who's coaching up both guys, okay? And then we might have our inside backers might be working either with the D-line or they could be working on their own. But it's a way that we bring together in our pod periods different positions that have different skill sets and now we're gonna have coaches maybe overlap a little bit with who they're coaching. It's a little bit different, 
but it's been very successful to us. It's forced us as a staff to have to talk to each other, to be on the same page, to make sure we're communicating the same thing to the same kids. And it's also got kids working together where we're cleaning up little errors. We do that offensively, we do that defensively, and then we try to do that a little bit in our special T period where we're working, like everybody probably does, our special T's, we're working our punt blocks, we're working different skills needed on special teams. Hopefully this made sense to you. If it didn't and you got questions, feel free to either comment in this video and I'll try to address them. I actually have a 3-4 defensive book. I've got a couple PowerPoints out and I have a whole system available. If you go to fbcoachsimpson.com, you can probably find more information about that or you can email me, fbcoachsimpson at gmail.com. Appreciate your time.